This video is about between its centrality, part of our graph analytics and algorithms series. Between its centrality measures the probability that a node appears in the shortest path between any other two nodes. The example graph here is undirected. There are two edges between nodes C and E, and we use different colors to differentiate them. We will walk through the process to calculate between its centrality of node C. First, list all node pairs other than node C, and we got six pairs. To be more generic, for undirected graph that has n nodes, the number of node pairs except the target node can be calculated by this formula. Multiply n minus 1 by n minus 2, and it's divided by 2. In the case when the graph is directed, node pairs AB and BA are different. So it will be n minus 1 multiplies n minus 2 pairs, just twice as much as undirected graph. Next, we will write the shortest path for each node pair. You must have noticed that some node pairs have more than one shortest path. They are of the same distance but go through different nodes or edges. For each node pair, we consider the probability that node C appears in the shortest path. Give a generic mass expression for these two. Sigma ij represents the number of shortest paths between nodes i and j, and sigma ijc represents the number of shortest paths between ij that pass node c. We check those paths involve c and calculate the probability. Now we are ready to give the expression of the betweenness centrality. It first adds up all the probabilities of shortest paths passing through a certain node v, then it's rescaled by dividing it into the number of node pairs. This normalization will not cause any loss of precision, but makes the scores into a common scale, which is 0 to 1. Let's bring the numbers into the formula. The between the centrality of node c is 0 0.36. These are the between its centralities of all nodes in this graph. Node C is ranked at the top, followed by B and D, and it may surprise you that nodes A and E have score of zero, although they both have considerable connections. It makes us to think about the practical meaning of between its centrality. What does a high or low between its centrality mean? Let's explore it by removing certain node from the graph and see how the rest graph will be affected. First, remove node C, the one with the highest between its centrality. What is left are four nodes connected in series. If we are to design a structure that helps the information flow between the nodes, we definitely don't want to align all nodes in a line. This kind of communication is expensive. To quantify, we calculate the average shortest distance between node pairs, and it's 1.67. It won't make sense when we continue removing other nodes from the graph. So next, take node B out. This time we got a triangle loop with a tail. We should expect the efficiency of the virtual flow improves because of the loop. And it's true as we see the average shortest distance reduces to 1.33. Take node D out. The structure looks similar and the distance is the same. And we continue, remove node A, the one with score of zero. A pure loop remains and the average shortest distance further reduces to 1.17. Lastly, get rid of node E, the distance is 1.172. So we could see from this little experiment, when deleting nodes with higher between its centrality from the graph, the structure of the remaining graph becomes less beneficial for the virtual flow in the graph, in real network, the flow can be of information, interaction, influence, physical items, and so on. High between its centrality nodes act like bridge in the network and have control over the flow passing between others. Here comes the demo. One of the most studied biological networks is protein and protein interaction network. Here is some background knowledge. 
proteins control most of the biological process in cell, such as gene expression, cell growth, and cell-to-cell -cell communications. Proteins typically don't function alone, but interact with other proteins to perform functions. Therefore, scientists study PPINs to understand protein functions, to inspire disease research and drug developments. The dataset we use for demo contains 2,361 proteins. Each protein has a label. Two proteins are connected by edge if there is an interaction between them. There are 7,182 interactions. We will analyze betweenness of the proteins in the network. It was proposed by some scientists that high betweenness proteins may act as important or essential roles as they have the most influence over the information transfer between others. This is Altipa Manager. You may connect it through Altipa Cloud. I already imported the PPI network called EAST. The proteins and interactions are interpreted as nodes and edges. Let's calculate betweenness centrality of all proteins to have some overall impression first. Write the algo command and input betweenness centrality. In the parameter, there are not many things I want to restrict, but only to set the order of the results as desk. Name the results alias as bc and return it. Take a glance of the results, the score range between 0 0.037 to 0. And I'm curious about the distribution of the scores. Let's add more commands. It's okay to keep the order parameter and use the string execution method to do more things on the results. I'll use the case function combined with with clause. In the case function, we use when and then keywords pair to map certain results to some text. For example, for those whose centrality score is greater than or equal to 0 0.02, give it the tag 1-high. And when BC dot centrality is between 0 0.01 to 0 0.02 or equals to 0 0.01, then give it tag 2 dash median. When BC centrality is between 0 to 0 0.01, then give it tag 3 dash low, else covers all the other conditions. And now the only left condition is when the score equals to zero. So the tag would be four dash zero. Write end to close the function and define alias to the function results as distribution. One more thing before we return the distribution, group the data by distribution tag we just assigned to each results. So results with the same distribution tags will be put together. In the return clause, we use the table function to organize the results. First colon is the distribution tag, and second colon is the number of results of each distribution tag. Let's see the results. 13 proteins are of high betweenness centrality, 42 median, 1354 low, and 952 zero. Actually, we can add another colon to see the percentage of each level. Divide count distribution into the total number of nodes, 2361. Run it again. Here we go. More than 97% of the proteins are of low or even zero between its centrality. So now we have a clue of how much essential proteins we want to further study. Maybe this 13 proteins with the highest scores. Remove all these lines and add limit 13 in the parameter. Find nodes by the UUIDs of these 13 proteins and define the results as proteins. In the return table, put the label of protein in the first column and then centrality score. Run it to get the results. Those labels may don't explain much with non-expert, but these labels are actually real. And you could further study certain proteins by looking into some biological databases. Those UQLs are provided for your reference. We just used them in the demo. And you'll find interesting to check these links. 
we already launched Audible Cloud for a while. It's our database as a service product. You could build your own cloud graph database on it. Algorithm and UQL documentations are available in our website, as well as some quick start guides. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to receive more updates.